Open EMR is an open source and nonprofit medical practice management software that supports electronic medical records. And it features fully integrated electronic medical records, practice management for a medical practice, scheduling, and electronic billing. Best of all, it is used in the real world. And this means that it is ONC certified for meaningful use stage two. And it's used by the United States Peace Corps and within a number of private practices in the United States and other countries. It's received um, a lot of awards, a number of awards, and uh, it's received recognition for being one of the better open source applications out there uh, that's been recently created. And among other things, it supports HL7, ICD-10, and it's uh, HIP, uh, AA compliant, is, is HIPAA compliant. So we're gonna walk through several scenarios using this software. And fortunately, there's a free, fully functional demo version available from the openemr.org website. Now, you can actually download and install it, and that's the most common way to do this. So you can go to the download page and set it up. But in order to do that, you'll need PHP and MySQL. It runs on Windows, Linux, uh, as well as Mac and other, um, other OS systems. Well, fortunately, we don't need to do that. There is a free, fully functional demo version that's available from their website, and that's what we'll be using. The link is a bit hidden, but if you want to go to the demo page, and then from there, you'll find it about halfway down. If I go to the demo page, about halfway down here. From there, we can choose the administrative login. There's several different ways you can log in, and this gives you access to different sets of controls. For our use, we'll go ahead and just choose admin, and then the password is pass. So this is the real um, page that you would see if you were to be using the software uh, in your hospital. You can customize it, but uh, the default is this page. I'll go ahead and enter admin and then pass. And that takes me to the fully functional uh, open EMR software. Something to keep in mind is that this password is, is um, going to be used by thousands of other people, potentially thousands of other people or more. Anyone testing this on the web will have the same password. So don't change the password. Um, and then whatever data uh, and whatever changes you make uh, could be viewable by anybody else who's in here. So any data you add or any data you change can be viewable by anybody else who logs in from the web. Uh, this data is reset every 24 hours, but until then, like I said, any passwords you make, any patients added or deleted, and other information you make is viewable by all users. So this being a real world scenario is very cool because you can create new patients. You can work with a calendar as if you were having a actual uh, facility. Um, you can set up billing and procedures for patients as well as for um, the doctors and administrators that you'll be working with. In this tutorial, we provide some scenarios for you as you learn about this and you practice the usability with Open EMR. Uh, there are basic scenarios for you to start from that we give, and once you complete those scenarios for the usability testing, then feel free to experiment in here and see what else you can learn and accomplish in this real-world EMR software.